Ah, it's just going to have to work. <laughs> What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here. Uh, Mission 92, a battle box, yeehaw. Wind's blowing. We got a hurricane on the way. Florida's getting hit right about now as I speak. Hopefully, it's not too terribly bad. Hopefully, the people in Florida are prepared. I got some, some things I need to batten down uh, around here later today. Uh, it's starting to get windy now, so hopefully the audio won't be too bad. And my hopes and prayers are for everybody that are going to be you know, in direct path. So with that being said, Mission 92 right here. It's a long box. There's something in this box that people's been wanting for a long time, we've been working on for a long time, and it's here. Come on, right here. I'm gonna show it to you directly. Bam! <laughs> the mission brief for Mission 92, October. Hunting season's in full swing around here where I'm at. It's getting in full swing in other parts of the country. Um, I know from what I'm seeing on social media, there's a lot of people that are out chasing elk out in the Rocky Mountains and stuff like that um, with their with their archery equipment, which is really freaking cool. I hope to do that one day. Uh, so yeah, there's some things in this box that can help you out with your hunting adventures, yeehaw. I myself have had a pretty good season so far. I got some meat in the freezer. Got a few does and a buck. You got some hogs down already. Season's been good. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. So now let's jump into the basic box. So first up in the basic box, we got the Battle Box Trail Markers. These things are y'all. Let me explain to you. Trail Markers right there. Check them out. So we'll look at them here on the table. Got this little package right here. There's 10 of these in here. Mark your way. A little bit of instruction on here, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Some people need instruction. So what you have here is 10 high-vis orange reflective markers right here. So what are these used for? These things come in really, 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 really handy for a number of reasons. So as you can see here, we've got basically a tag. <clears throat> it's got the Battle Box helmet right there or logo helmet right there. You got this clip on top here. Primary reason is to mark, you know, a, a breadcrumb trail, if you will, if you, setting up an area to go hunting and you're going back the next day early in the morning you can hang these up they reflect light from your flashlight so you can find your way back to your stand or your hunting location also what these are great for is if you're on a blood trail you're tracking a deer or whatever tracking a blood trail is not as easy as some may think it is by just the way it sounds you know you're just tracking blood sometimes they'll bleed a lot in some areas and then they'll go you know several yards and not bleed at all so it's really, really good to have multiple people, hopefully two at least, when you're tracking an animal because the one person can stay where the last blood is, the next person can go until they find blood again, and that person stays there. The person that was staying at last blood can then go in front, so forth and so, so on. That way, if you lose blood, you can't figure out which way the animal went. It can sometimes be hard because you need to go back to where your last blood was. So you start going back and try to find where it was at. You have difficulty finding it. And next thing you know, you know all, all hell's breaking loose trying to, trying to find your animal. With these, if you're by yourself, like I was a couple weeks ago, um, ended up had a really jacked up uh, shot that the buck I was shooting at. Uh, there was dog flies all over it, and every now and then he'd swing his head back and forth. Right when I squeezed the trigger, he swung his head towards his shoulder, and the bullet struck his antler and didn't get a perfectly clean shot, so I had to track the deer. With that rifle, thus far, nothing's ever taken another step afterwards. With this one, the deer went down. It was right before dark. He was down. All was good. When I got down after dark and went to where he was at, he was no longer there. So we had to track him. So uh, these markers right here came in handy because I ended up finding the deer the next day. Uh, and I found where we started or where we stopped at the night before because I had a marker there. So again, great for tracking animals, uh, blood trail, things like that. Also great for if you're in a, in a group and you're hiking and it's getting dark or whatever, 
clip these on the back of backpacks. You can clip it on the back of a hat, anything like that, so that when you're walking and you're using light, it can illuminate the people in your party. You can see if they're out ahead of you or whatever. You can scan, you can see where they are so that you can get your direction. Many, many other uses, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Anything you want to mark, these things are great. But primarily used for breadcrumb, uh, leaving, be it hiking, camping, hunting, anything like that, marking locations where you can see this bright orange in the daytime or with a flashlight you can shine, it illuminates, it works very, very well. These things are great, absolutely great. Then on your way out, you collect them back up on your way out and you're good to go for next time you need to use them. So that is your first item in the basic box. So next in the basic box, we got the PFC aerosol earth scent. It's just not, it's not just an earth scent. It's actually a corrosion protectant, lubricant, etc., etc., from metal things, i.e. the metal parts of an archery equipment, the metal parts, obviously, of firearms, blinds, deer stands, the freaking hinges on your truck. I don't know, I mean, anything, right? Your axes, your knives, stuff like that. This is a really good lubricant right here that doesn't smell like a freaking science experiment. <laughs> Some are pretty bad, man. Some are pretty bad. And I have firsthand experience in my, in my belief anyway of uh, a, a few times when I've been out hunting and I had lubricated and I'd cleaned and lubricated my equipment and uh, I think I spooked some game with it when the, when the wind changed. I really think it was the lubricant that they smelled because it freaking stinks. I could smell it in the stand and I was really kind of aggravated that I actually did that. But you need to keep your equipment clean and lubricated for it to operate properly. The last thing that you want is to have an equipment failure due to improper lubrication or something like that and you don't end up having the end result that you need because your freaking equipment fails or the seat is squeaking, making noise when you move or whatever. So that's what this is for and it doesn't smell horrible. It's, it's got that earth scent, kind of smells like, kind of like dirt or whatever. It blends in with your environment. Really cool stuff right here. It comes with a straw so that you can apply it to very small tight areas very easily. It's really good for corrosion pr protecting. So let's take a look at it here. Let me move this straw out of the way so you can read the labeling. It's right here, PFC, protection first class. All right, so it's a lubricant protectant with earth cover scent. Lubricates in extreme cold. That's another thing. Some lubricants, man, especially the really, really wet lubricants, uh, in extreme cold and freezing conditions, they can actually freeze up and, and cause issues. So it's a uh, high performance protection, non-toxic, solvent-free, and it's a lanolin-based formula. The toughest corrosion protection available. So the stuff works really, really good. So especially things, that, you know, tools that you have and equipment that we've seen in the past is made out of high carbon steel. Uh, really good steel. It can be highly corrosive in really tough environments. So this stuff works great to spray onto that sort of stuff. Your axe, your axe heads, things like that for all your metal tools, etc., etc. So next up in the basic box, the third item is Gear A Camo Form Reusable Fabric Wrap. This stuff is really cool, and I wish I had this stuff available when I was younger because I would have averted a really Hairy situation with my dad when I camouflage um, our 30-30 when I was going deer hunting one day with like camouflage duct tape. That did not end well for the rifle nor for me. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go, right here. <laughs> it's a camo fabric wrap, like a camo tape, but it sticks to itself, but it doesn't stick to everything else, like the, the metal pieces of your, your firearm if you're trying to camouflage a firearm or something like that. Or, you know, my tripod, for instance. When I used to film hunting shows, um, we would put camouflage tape or green tape on our tripod to help. Because a lot of the tripods, they were, they were real, like, uh, glossy black. You know, they shined or whatever. Some of them made a lot of noise. So taping them up with camouflage tape, you know, helped deaden the noise and make it where it wasn't as visible to gain. Problem is, if, if you want to take it off, it's ruined your, your freaking tripod or ruin your rifle. 
So it's two inches wide and it's 144 inches in length. So it's flexible, as you can see. Here's the camo side. But you can wrap this around your rifle or your shotgun or you know uh, parts of your deer stand, you know, if you got a climbing tree stand or anything like that, and it sticks to itself, but when you take it off, it doesn't leave residue all over your metal pieces that you put it on. So it's great and it's completely reusable. You can literally wash this in the washing machine and use it again. So it's something that can last quite a while. Obviously you can cut it to length um, for, for little bits and things that you need. But if you want to camouflage, you know, the scope on, on your, your rifle, which is very, not only are rifles expensive, but the freaking scopes are not cheap. Like the good scopes, they're not cheap at all. So you put in some sticky freaking tape on there to help camouflage it or whatever. You take it off, now you got this residue all over your freaking scope that you gotta try. I mean, it's, it's, you, you feel like you're messing up something that you spent a whole lot of money on. This stuff right here is freaking great for that. You can use this to freaking, as an improvised way to, you know, wrap up a wound. You know, you put something on there, let's say you, know, you don't have any first aid equipment, you got this, you can take a shirt, cut your shirt up, make you a pad, put on there, put this on, and wrap up your wound nice and tight. So reusable camo form tape right here, if you wanna call it tape, wrap, put it right there, we'll put it right here. <laughs> Great stuff. If you've been there, you know, okay? Like, I've been there. So we got a fourth item in the basic box, and this month, the last item in basic is from Fox Edge. It's the FE043 pocket knife right here. Let's take a look at this here. Really nice folding flipper right here. It's a frame lock. Opens very well, yeehaw. Let's take a closer look at it. Let me close it up so you can see it. So a knife in the basic box, yeah baby. So this my Carter frame lock folder is designed by Russ Comer and it is the perfect down and dirty get to work EDC knife right here. So a 7.75 inches overall. It's got a ball bearing in there for easy one-handed opening. As I mentioned earlier, it is a frame lock. You got a single black micarta scale right here on the left side. On the opposite side here, you got, of course, a nice strong pocket clip. And it's stonewashed finish, and it is HCR 13 MOV steel. That is a really nice knife right there for the basic box. And built like a tank. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Really nice, opens very smooth, great lock to it. That's a great everyday carry working knife right there. Use it for everything from cutting boxes to skinning game if you have to, freaking making kindling, you know, to start a fire. You don't have to worry about it. Put it to use, give it some character, yeehaw. So that is your last item in the basic box. The freaking camera turned off on me. After a little technical difficulty, that is your basic box. Yeah, baby, so now it's time for the advanced box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in the advanced box, for y'all that's been following me for a while, and y'all you, you, know how I feel about having this particular item at camp or in your whatever, in your bug out, in your preps, uh, in your vehicle at all times, whatever, because these things are freaking great. I love them. Absolutely love them. It's a hammock. So we've got the climate hammock right here. It's a single layer hammock. Absolutely love using hammocks freaking love them. For many reasons I, I love hammocks. I mean, they're quick and easy to set up. There's tons of different situations that you can set them up with. To me, they're absolutely ridiculously comfortable if you know how to lay in. A lot of people lay in them straight on, which you don't do, and I'll, I've demonstrated in videos. I'll make another video specifically on this hammock right here and, and how to lay in. So you have a flat lay. And you do it right, in my opinion, screw sleeping on the ground. If I have the opportunity and the means to use a hammock, that's probably probably what I'm gonna go with. Hot, cold, it don't matter. You gotta do some, some things differently when it's really cold out because you'll freeze your butt off in a hammock if you don't. I love the process and I love the end result and that's a good night's sleep or just relaxing, right? So we've got our hammock right here. 
this pouch stays with the hammock so you don't have an extra pouch unfolds and i'll show you b-roll of it or whatever because i can't really show you here at the table but it unfolds and in the the pouch stays on the hammock so you got somewhere you can slip your phone you can put your drink in there you can put your some gear in there whatever right it also comes with two tree straps right here i believe these are 10 foot tree straps you beat yes 10 foot and they're daisy chained which means every, I don't know, three, two and a half, three inches or so, there's a loop. You can see right here, you got your loop. So this area here goes around the tree where all the writing and the stitching and everything is for this, uh, this tag right here. And then you've got different loops so that you can adjust your hang depending on the distance that your trees are apart. So you get two of these and the hammock itself on the gathered end on each end has a carabiner right here so you got this carabiner that goes in your daisy chain loops of your strap to adjust your hang freaking built well it's lightweight they're easy to pack they're easy to take down the straps everything that you need as far as hanging your hammock is in the pouch that stays with the hammock it's freaking great so the total weight of this with the carabiners and the straps is 1.8 pounds it's 110 inches long 55 inches wide got a two-year warranty and the weight capacity is 400 pounds hey that's two of me almost two of me <laughs> in, in this hammock right here if, if you haven't tried hammocking if you want to call it hammocking or camping in a hammock or anything like that i suggest you try it there, there's i've got videos on it i'm going to make more I've, I've tried out a few different types of hammocks. I got some more on the way because I want to try different brands, different designs or whatever. This is a single panel design. There's no fuss. This is, this is a very good, if you want to call it beginner area hammock. It's a little better than that in my opinion as far as this build and everything, but it doesn't have a whole lot of like added things to it or whatever. It makes it really, really good keep in a pack, you're out hiking or whatever, and you want to chill out for a little while, you can throw this thing up in under a minute once you really learn how to do it and put in a little bit of practice. You can have an awesome, awesome place and way to just chill out, hang out or whatever, enjoy your day, have a place to sit, have a place to take a nap, get off your feet for a little while. There's nothing better than a freaking hammock. And climate makes awesome gear and make awesome hammocks. This is your advanced box right here and be on the lookout for I'm going to do videos specifically on this hammock the setup how I like to set it up how I suggest you lay in them some people say well you know I just can't get comfortable in a hammock I really have to believe you're not quite doing it right because I get it when I first started doing it I wouldn't necessarily say it was comfortable it was nice but it wasn't amazing till I figured out some things and I'm gonna share those things with you. Give it a shot, see what you think afterwards because I, I sleep like a baby in these freaking hammocks. It's freaking awesome. So that is your advanced item right there, your advanced box item. Of course, advanced includes everything that was in basic is your climate hammock right here. It's a 75D polyester fabric right here, 400 pound capacity. Big boys have a nice place to relax take a nap, go to sleep, whatever that may be. So now it's time for the Pro Box. And the Pro Box this month is the reason why this box is so long. <laughs> In the Pro Box, we've got the Gear Scope Breakaway Bow right here. So it's a breakdown, a breakaway, survival bow, if you will. And man, people, people have been wanting one of these for a while. My box is probably not going to stay. It's not, there's no way that box is gonna stay. Got that right there, maybe it won't blow away. All right, so the gear scope, survival bow, and arrow set. So there's some arrows in here too. It comes in this case right here. And the case is, is quite, a much, quite a bit bigger than, than the contents in it. So if you want to add more arrows or you want to add things to this case, you know, there's plenty, plenty of room to do so. Got one in the mystery spot. Then I'll show you the individual parts. But I want to show you guys this right here just because it's freaking awesome. Ba bam survival bow right there so what's in this bag turns into this get yourself 
Nice bow right there. It's ambidextrous, so you can shoot it right-handed. It's got the arrow shelf here, so that you can shoot it right-handed or left-handed, whichever you prefer. Really easy to put together. I'll have a video, I'll show you some clips of putting it together and all on here, but also there'll be a video dropping soon, specifically on the bow, talking about the bow. But man, that thing's freaking nice. And you also get three arrows right here. It comes with uh, inserts. So, you know, you got different broadheads or field points that you want to use. You got your inserts installed right there so that you can just screw those in. And it comes with three. These aren't necessarily, these aren't, I mean, you can use these for practice points, but these are like freaking kind of like broadheads. They're a little smaller than typical broadhead that I'm used to, but kind of a, a modern twist just to a old school design broadhead right here that you can use for practice purposes or whatever, like a field point. But of course you can add whatever type of broadhead you want to it, but it does come with these three right here. I'll give you a close up of them once we break into the bag. Freaking cool. And then your fletchings right here. So we sent a survival bow several years ago. Over time we started getting messages from people like where, where they have bent their fletchings or whatever, and they were concerned about that or whatever. Simple fix, just take a hair dryer and heat that up and spin it and the fletchings will, will straighten right back out. So here's your riser. So you got your inserts right here for your screws and your limb pockets. Got a little bit of weight to it, but overall it's lightweight. As you can tell it's ambidextrous. You can use it right-handed or left-handed. So there's your riser. Here's your, your limbs right here. Got gear scope on there and obviously here's your holes, you know, to go um, in your limb pockets. And then here is your, uh, your tops here where your bowstring attaches, right there. Three arrows here. So like right here you can see just in the packaging how that fletching right there is bent. I'm telling you, just take a hair dryer, wave it back and forth, that thing will return back to its original shape and be straight, easy peasy. Here's a shot of your inserts. Then you're gonna have your hardware here, your bolts, and these here for your, your limbs, right? So here's your arrowheads. I'm gonna guess these are about 100 grains in weight. They don't feel like 125s. For sure those are about 100 grains a piece. So specs on the boat. The draw weight is around 40 pounds at 28 inches. You got 32 and a half inch arrows, weigh 14 grains per inch. And then, like I said, I think I think these are about 100 grains. But this right here is a lot of fun. Go out in your backyard, set up a target, and, and learn how to do instinctive shooting. There's no sight with this, so it's, it's instinctive shooting right and, and it takes a little bit of practice man is it ever fun to do tons of enjoyment and entertainment in the backyard and if you get good enough with it could provide some protein for you when you're out in the woods if you really need it or it's going to introduce you to a very very interesting and fun and if you're competitive like me a very competitive hobby known as archery yeah. so that is your pro box item for this month the gear scope, survival bow, takedown bow, breakdown bow with arrows. We're getting down to the last box, the Pro Plus box. And this month, we've got a really cool, really cool blade for you from a pretty cool company. Move this on, blow it. Back. Getting windy. All right. So I put it back here behind the box in hopes that the box wouldn't blow over. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? This month, the Pro Plus box, knife of the month, is the Wooks Bad Boy. This thing right here, pretty. Wooks, look at that thing. The Wooks Bad Boy. The future of tradition. It says right here, let me open this bad boy up right here. Literally, called the bad boy. <laughs> Do we have him? So as many of you know, I'm a huge fixed blade fan. I love fixed blades. So this right here is a fixed blade knife, but it's not so so big and cumbersome that you don't want to EDC it. Look at that son of a gun right there. Man, that's sexy right there. Let's take a closer look. Look at that bad boy right there. It just rolls off the tongue. So it's a compact fixed blade. It has American walnut 
for the handles here, the scales, and it is beautiful. It's genuine American walnut right there. It's D2 steel, and it includes this Italian leather sheath right here. As you can see, it's got a really nice drop point blade, great for pretty much any purpose out there. It's got ample jimping up here on the top. The overall length is six and a quarter inches. The blade length is about two and three quarters inches with the handle sitting at about three and a half. The overall weight of this guy is only 3.2 ounces. It's absolutely freaking perfect. Again, D2 steel with a hardness of 58 to 60. Kind of got a satin finish to it. Full tang, American walnut, Italian made, Italian made leather sheath. It's freaking sweet. It's so freaking sweet. I mean, look at that thing. It fits perfect in the hand. It's a great EDC fixed blade. I mean, some people say the best knife is the one that you have on you. Why not have one of the best with this Luke's bad boy right here? Man, this thing's sweet. And that leather sheath, man, that's just a premium feel and look. It looks awesome with the, with the walnut right there. That's a, that's a bad boy. <laughs> that's a bad boy right there. And Sharp, I've always said this. Y'all have heard me say this many, many, many times. Blades out of Italy are friggin' sharp. The Italians know how to sharpen a dead burn blade, man. That's a sharp dude right there. Be careful with this. But, man, does it ever feel good. That's a great knife. That is a great all-purpose, everyday carry, fixed blade in a size that's manageable and not cumbersome. The Wooks, bad boy, yeehaw. It's freaking sweet. So that's mission 92 for October of 2022, right here from BattleBox. Freaking awesome box. If this stuff don't get you outdoors, I don't know what way. Especially that hammock and that bow right there. Definitely gonna get me outdoors. This stuff is fun. All right, so quick recap. We've got the Gear A camo wrap right here. Leaves no residue, reusable. Wrap your stuff up, camouflage it, you deaden the noise, whatever. Works freaking great, I promise you. And then we've got the Battle Box trail markers right here. Absolutely freaking great item for a multitude of uses from tracking game to marking trails to marking hunting locations to putting on your friends in your groups that you can keep up with them in the dark, put them on gear, high visibility, reflective tags that you can use for many, many, many things. Then we got the PFC with the earth scent, lubricant and protectant. Use this on your axes, use this on your high carbon steel tools, anything that, that, that needs lubrication, you can use this firearms, door hinges, outdoor chairs and seats or whatever, right? Great lubricant and protectant right here from corrosion. But it also doesn't stink, so you can use it on your things that you may be hunting or you may be out, you know, outside with and you don't want that smell or whatever. Not only this scared game off or, or whatnot, but at least it doesn't stink bad for you either, right? And then we've got the Fox Edge folder right here in the basic box, workhorse. You don't want to mess up your more expensive knives. That right there works. Excellent, built excellent, very sharp, very, very good knife, everyday abuse and use. And then in the advanced box, we had this climate hammock right here, the single hammock, amazing hammock, 400 pound weight capacity, comes with your daisy chain tree straps right here. Everything in a complete kit to get this hung so that you can lay down and relax or sit down by the campfire or whatever. Excellent, excellent hammock right here. And then we got the gear scope, breakdown or takedown bow with arrows. Excellent bow right here. Get you outdoors, get you shooting archery and get proficient in instinctive shooting and uh, ambidextrous, built very well, easy to take apart, easy to put together. And you got this pack right here that you can keep everything in. It's got plenty of room, so if you wanna buy more arrows, fill this thing full of arrows. If you wanna get a quiver or anything like that, more than likely the quiver is gonna fit in this bag oversized so that you can add to it. And last but not least, the freaking Wooks bad boy right there. Ha! Oh, you gotta love Italian knife manufacturing. Freaking awesome. Italian made with authentic American walnut, full tang, sharp, excellent everyday carry fixed blade the perfect size for that. It's not too big, it's not too small. You also have a genuine Italian leather little sheath, little belt sheath right there for it. Man, that thing, that thing is pretty. It is pretty, pretty, pretty. That is 
your Mission 92 box right there. So I'm gonna do another giveaway for this box just like I did in the Mission 91 box. So if you wanna know who won the Mission 91 box, go to the Mission 91 video on the Battle Box YouTube page. Look at the pinned comment at the top. Whoever's name is pinned in that, that's the winner of the 91. I'm gonna do the same thing for this. So here's the rules, follow the rules, listen to the rules, all right? In the comment section, you need to type in the comments, I want Mission 92 of Battle Box. You need to be following the page, all right? So be sure to follow the, the, the Battle Box YouTube page. Comment down below, I want Mission 92 of Battle Box. And be sure to turn on the bell, the uh, notification tab, so you'll be notified when I post more videos. You do those three things. Next month, when Mission 93 drops, I'm going to pin the winner. I'm not going to comment on your comment. I'm not going to reach out to you in any way. So if you see anybody else saying, hey, congratulations, you won, blah, 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 uh -uh. that's not how it works. I'll randomly pick a winner. I will put in the comments, congratulations to so-and-so. I'll pin that comment at the top. Oh, Mission 91 Battle Box on YouTube. Huh. She's listening. I will pin my comment at the top of the comments. It'll be the first comment you see. It'll say, congratulations to so-and-so. You won such and such, and then we'll work on getting in touch with each other. I'm not going to email you telling you that you are the winner. I'm not going to respond to your comment telling you you're the winning winner. I'm not going to ask for any money. I'm not going to ask for you to pay for shipping. I'm not going to ask for nothing. I'm going to ship it to you 100% free of charge. Okay, you'll get mission 92. So, you want to know if you won mission 91? Go to the Mission 91 Bidget on the Battle Box YouTube channel. Check the first comment that's pinned. That's who the winner is. I'll do the same on this. Please do not respond to anybody commenting on your comment. That's not me. It's some butthead that's trying to freaking screw with people. Okay? That's the directions. Yeehaw. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, share with your friends, hit the subscribe button, get in on the giveaway. Hit the bell uh, icon so you'll be notified when I post more videos. If you want to find out more about BattleBox, check out BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can go to the What's in the Box tab on the website. You can see every video and every product that has been in every box from this mission all the way down to Mission 1 back in 2015. Yeehaw. I love y'all. I mean it. I'll see you next month with Mission 93. Ah, that one was money. Yes, that one was in there. Looks like a bunch of orcs were just slinging arrows. I got one in there almost, in the, in the 12 ring, if you will.